The adductor magnus is the largest member of the adductor group. The adductor magnus attaches proximally to the inferior pubic ramus, the ischial ramus, and the ischial tuberosity all along here, a very wide base of attachment. It then attaches distally to the gluteal tuberosity on the posterior femur, starting way up there. It runs down the linea aspera and the medial supracondylar line of the femur, and then it attaches also to the adductor tubercle on the medial condyle. Looking at the attachments from the posterior side, it attaches proximally to the inferior pubic ramus, the ischial ramus, and the ischial tuberosity. It then attaches distally to the gluteal tuberosity, the linea aspera, the medial supracondylar line, and then there's a little gap, and then it has fibers going to the adductor tubercle on the medial condyle of the femur. The adductor magnus is located in the medial thigh between the gracilis and the medial hamstrings. To locate the adductor magnus, we either find the gracilis and drop posteriorly, or we can find the medial hamstrings and drop anteriorly. Let's begin by finding the gracilis. To do this, we find the adductor longus tendon and then drop posteriorly onto the gracilis. To confirm that we are on the gracilis, we ask the client to press her leg against the table, which is flexion of the leg at the knee joint, and the gracilis pops. We can then drop posteriorly off the gracilis here, and we are on the adductor magnus. If she now presses her leg against the table, the adductor magnus will not contract, but the medial hamstrings here will contract with flexion of the leg at the knee joint. We then drop anteriorly off of the medial hamstrings, and we will be on the adductor magnus in the trough between the gracilis and hamstrings. And again, the adductor magnus will not contract with flexion of the leg at the knee joint. So it will stay relaxed. But now if the client adducts the thigh at the hip joint against our resistance, we will feel the contraction of the adductor magnus muscle. We can also ask the client to extend the thigh at the hip joint against the resistance of the table, and this will also engage the adductor magnus so that we can then palpate across it perpendicularly. Once we have found the adductor magnus, we can then continue to follow distally as far as possible as the client continues to contract and relax the adductor magnus against the resistance of the table.